reports coming out of Iran suggest the country's controversial morality police are being disbanded. Iran has seen months of protest over the death in custody of 22-year-old Masa Amini. She was arrested for not wearing her hijab correctly. Iran's Attorney General has also been quoted as saying the law regarding hijabs is being reviewed. But there's no independent confirmation yet of either claim. Well, let's discuss this further now with rights campaigner Farooq Amin. Farooq, thanks very much for coming on with us tonight. How credible do you think these reports are? Actually, I think these kinds of reports have no credibility. And it's really disappointing to see that these international media who were fact-checking news about execution of hundreds of people in Iran now are sharing this news based on some vague remarks by an official in Iran who is not even in charge of morality police. OK, so do you think it's absolutely baseless what this person is saying? Yeah, because no other sources have confirmed uh, this news, so it's just based on one official talk. And the same person in his talk was emphasizing that the regime will continue its enforcement of Sharia law on people and will continue their monitoring and their surveillance of the society. So it's not going to change anything. So what would be the point of saying, of even floating this idea of the morality police being um, under question? I think the regime is in its weakest position now, and they have run this propaganda in order to distract the media, specifically the international media, about the important things that are happening right now in Iran. In the next three days, we are going to have the nationwide protest and a strike in Iran. Beside that, just a couple of days ago, we saw that the United Nations Body on Human Rights, they passed a resolution for investigation about violations of, violations of human rights in Iran. So the regime is afraid of these kind of uh, decisions by the international bodies. And also, as I said, they are executing people in Iran. They have already started that. They executed four prisoners in Iran. And 28 other protesters are at danger. They are in the risk of receiving these death penalties. So many things are happening. On December 14, we are going to have the decision made by uh, members, the uh, state members of the United Nations about removal of regime from Commission on the Status of Women in the United Nations. So these are the kind of things that the regime wants to distract the world from paying attention to them by using this kind of actually like appeasing strategies. How do you think protesters in Iran will react then? I think for Iranians, this kind of news doesn't matter at all. We don't care about what regime is doing, because from the very beginning, Iranians have been clear about their demand. We haven't been asking for the abolishment of morality police, for example. We have been asking for the downfall of this regime. The regime has gone too far in its atrocities and it's killing its people. So there is no way back for this regime. There is no way for any reform. OK, thank you so much for your thoughts tonight. Thank you.